Hello everyone, my name is Raul and I will be talking about rainbow thin films and how this is connected to nanotechnology. So for this activity, we will be making thin films on paper using clear nail polish and water. There's a separate video that explains how you can do this at home. These thin films are widely used in making computer and cell phone chips. So it is important that we understand how they work and how we can take advantage of the properties. So on this activity, you will have a sheet of paper and you will have a very thin film on top of it. This thin film is shown as this blue rectangle here, and you can see it is much, much thinner than the paper. But remember, the paper is also really thin. So when we have these thin films, what we see is the sort of rainbow pattern that forms on the paper. Now remember that the film is transparent, so the reason we have these colors is actually because of the way the film is interacting with light. And wherever we have different colors, that means that we have a different thickness of the film. Now at this point, you might be wondering how thin are these films? They're actually in the nanometer range. And that is important because this film thickness is what causes the light to change colors and allows us to see those rainbow patterns that we saw in the previous slide. That is because light, which travels as a wave, has a wavelength from between 350 nanometers to about 740 nanometers, where the wavelength is defined as the distance between two peaks or two troughs in one of these waves. Also, if we know the color of the film, we can calculate the thickness. Since we know that the light waves are traveling and interacting with the film and with the substrate, which in our case is the paper, Depending on whether they have constructive or destructive interference, meaning if these waves add up or cancel each other, we're going to see a bright color or no color at all. So if we know what bright color we're seeing or what colors we aren't seeing, we can then calculate the thickness of these films. So how small is the nanometer? So the visible spectrum of light going from violet to red goes from about 350 nanometers to about 740 nanometers like I mentioned in the previous slide. The red light, which is the longest wavelength, is about 10 times shorter than the thickness of a single red blood cell, which is circulating inside of you right now. But we can't see cells, so we can actually compare a nanometer to things that we can actually observe in everyday life. A sheet of paper, for example, is about 75,000 nanometers thick, and a human hair is between 50 and 100,000 nanometers thick. A pinhead, about 1 million nanometers thick. Now I know that not all of us are looking at computer chips every day, so we can actually compare nanotechnology to some of the nano interactions that we see in nature. For example, a butterfly wing has no pigment, it has no natural colors. The reason you see different colors on it is because of the way that light interacts with very, very tiny nanostructures inside of the wing and on top of it. So let's take a look at that in this video right here. As you can see, you have these very, very tiny structures that end up causing different colors. And as you zoom out from the butterfly's wing, you can see how complex these structures are and how once you're completely zoomed out, you can't see those very, very small features, but you can see the light. You can see the different colors. If you would like to learn more about thin films, and also if you would like to rewatch that butterfly wing video, you can go to any of the links here. If at any point during the activity you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you.